Hey everyone. Uh, so today I was going to be bringing you uh, an Akrapovic uh, exhaust carbon fiber exhaust review uh, and uh, fitment as well. I was going to fit it up today. Uh, I just went to fit it. Uh, and unfortunately, one of the parts is missing. So the strap for the canister to attach it to the uh, rear foot peg is missing. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit for that one. Uh, you can also hear uh, I'm feeling a bit sick, um, but I still wanted to get something out to you guys uh, in terms of a video. Uh, so we've been uh, doing this Evo Helbit competition, and I thought that it might be fun um, to have a look at another helmet that I've got, which is the. HJC R for 70 and the reason that I'm going to do a review on this is that it's just been released in the Philippines. I actually bought this one in the UK um, three months ago now when I was back there um, and so I've had a good chance to test it, ride it over there and I've been riding with it over here. Uh, so it's a pretty expensive helmet. I think it's pretty much HJC's top of the range sort of sport touring helmet. Uh, it's a little bit different from the R for 11 because it has uh, a drop down visor here and the mechanism is in a, a great place it's very easy to get to uh, it's not fiddly at all, it's really smooth uh, so that's the main difference between this and the R11 uh, it's a very very light helmet yeah it tells you on the back it's only 1400 grams and it feels super lightweight when you're wearing it it doesn't feel cheap though, the finish on it is really really nice this is a matte, uh, I think it's called Gandal Red um, uh, so let me take you through the features of the helmet, and uh, we'll just quickly run through. So obviously you've got the visor, it just comes with a clear visor with HJC, you've got to pay a little bit more to get a smoke visor or an iridium lens on it. The locking mechanism is really nice, it's in the middle. Um, normally as in most helmets you've just got a little latch here and you just flick up. This one it actually locks down into place, so it's pretty solid there once it's in. Uh, and to undo it you just squeeze and flick up. The visor itself is nice and solid, uh, it's uh, good quality. The only issue I've found is that if you're leaving it in sort of just a little bit open position, the mechanism here is too loose. And so any speed at all, any wind, and it just flips it shut. Uh, particularly when I was in the UK and you get quite a lot of fog on the visor if you're uh, cold mornings or just you know general weather there is a bit cooler. Um, I like to ride it with just the, the visor slightly open, but the mechanism is too uh, too loose, they need to tighten it up. There's no way of tightening it up either, the mechanism is just the way it is. Um, they need to fix that because that to me is an issue. Because on something like the Evo helmets that I've used, um, and even my HJC IS17, which is in there, um, I'll go through the winner's helmets in a minute, um, the, the, the visor stays open in a slightly open position. Uh, this one's too loose, which for a top of the range helmet, I find slightly ridiculous. Uh, slightly annoying. Um, but that aside, yeah, I like the mechanism itself, it's very good. Uh, the flip down uh, sun visor is excellent, the positioning on that is great, I think all helmets should be positioned there. I wish they'd standardise the position so that you're not constantly looking sort of here or on top here or you know depending on what helmet you're using. Okay, venting wise, uh, there's a lot of venting on this and so this is why it's actually a good helmet in the Philippines um, because you've got vents on the top here. You've got additional vents here on the chin. You actually have an internal vent as well um, on the inside here, just here. There's an internal vent which operates this one here at the bottom. You also have rear vents. One thing I've noticed with this helmet is uh, the rear vents actually work. You know, a lot of times you, you get the vents on the helmets and I'm not even sure if they're doing anything half the time. These ones do work. You can feel the air coming in the back here, which is nice, cools the back of your head and your neck. Uh, and the venting at the top and on the chin, excellent to have. Uh, it really does vent very well, this helmet. It's not noisy. Um, the internals really, for me, are where this helmet shines. You've got a, a little fog mask here just to protect your breath off the screen. It also comes with uh, pin inserts, fog inserts, so uh, it comes with an extra piece that you can put on the internal here. It's very quick to uh, get on, uh, so that's useful. Not that useful in the Philippines unless you're going to be in Baguio or somewhere perhaps where it's a bit colder but uh, still good to have. Uh, internally the helmet is brilliant. This is the best quality finish I've ever seen on any helmet and I've worn loads of different ones. Um, so you have an emergency release so should you have an accident, hopefully not, 
um, then the emergency services can just pull on these tabs and it will remove the innards of the helmet pretty quickly. Uh, the quality of the material on the inside is superb. There's like a faux leather finish here, all the internals feel nice, it's a removable lining, it's got uh, a microfiber lining in it, uh, and it's antibacterial as well, so it'll stop it from sort of getting sweaty and stinky when you've uh, been using it a lot. One thing to be aware of on this helmet, when if you buy it, uh, is that the fitting is very, very close fitting um, initially. So when you first put it on, it's going to feel, oh, that's pretty, pretty tight fitting. It loosens with sort of a couple of weeks to a month's worth of riding, depending on how much you wear it. Um, and it, 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 it loosens up slightly and it sort of molds to your face. So just be aware that when it feels really tight when you first put it on, it will give a little bit internally. So, mine is still, uh, feels very close fitting, but it's not pressing on the forehead, it's not pressing on the cheeks, it's just comfortable and cushioned. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice fit helmet, um, and it's, uh, it's so lightweight, that's why you buy that helmet, you're paying for the, the light composite materials that are used in the helmet. So I think this starts sort of in the plain colours in the Philippines at about 17,900, something like that. Now with this helmet you can see where the extra money's gone. It's, the internals are so nicely made, they feel so comfortable. Uh, the fit on your head is excellent. Uh, it grips your head tightly so you know it's not going to swing it about. If you have an accident it's going to hold your head in place. Um, the venting on it is excellent. Uh, and um, it's the lightweight nature of the helmet, so you feel like you can ride this forever. I toured around the UK with this uh, on my V-Strom back in the UK. Uh, it's a different one, an old 2009 V-Strom. Uh, and it's incredibly comfortable. Uh, whether it's worth the money over something like an Evo helmet or a cheaper model in the HJC range really depends on you. I can't say whether it's worth the extra money. For me, uh, it's slightly a luxury item. Um, I don't need it, uh, and for instance the Evo helmet up here, I think it's a very good helmet, it's a bit heavier, the cut on this is a little bit nicer, so it cuts a little bit shorter at the back, so when you're tucking in, uh, it doesn't dig into your neck here, uh, the lightness of this is, is really sort of the main selling point for me, it also has a beautiful design, I mean, I like that. I think it looks really, really cool. It looks pretty badass. I wish I had a red bike to go with it. Um, it doesn't really sort of suit the CRF that I've got. Um, maybe Honda Philippines should donate a CBR or something to me. Um, Firebly, that'd be nice. Um, but yeah, so overall, uh, if you're going to rate this helmet, I'd give it four out of five stars. I just think the price uh, is a little bit high. Um, but man, compared to something like uh, Shoei, or uh, AGV, Shark, those brands, HGC is offering pretty good value for a helmet at this level. This one is now out of production, this colour scheme, but there's loads of different ones, uh, and they are superb. But just put it next to the Evo a second, and then you can get an idea of the sort of size and shape of it as well. Okay, so the Evo is a bigger shell, um, it feels bigger. It's got more coming out the back here, the, the neck is longer here, so it's can, if you just tuck on Evo, you can just feel it a little bit on the back of your neck pushing sometimes. The venting is better on the HJC, but it's pretty good on the Evo, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it just gives you an idea, and also you get free Iridium lens with this Evo, and I think you get free blacked out or smoke lenses with some of the other colours. Um, okay, so there you go guys, that's a quick overview and a quick review of the HJC Arthur 70, uh, HJC's top of the range touring, sports touring helmet. Um, it's uh, actually available now, and Team Graffiti have it, so check out Team Graffiti, I know they have some stock of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, would, I would highly recommend that helmet if you have the money spared, it's really nice fitting, just be aware that the fitting is quite close until you've bedded the helmet in, until you've loosened it up a little bit. Uh, I think about five, six rides for me and it started to really sort of soften up. The first ride when I went out, I thought, oh my god, it's too tight, I'm gonna, you know, gonna get a headache or whatever. But no, it's okay, after a couple of rides, about four or five rides, something like that, you'd be good. Um, okay, so let's uh, forget about the HJC for a minute and get back to... Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm such a cold and I picked it up off my little niece. 
she, uh, <coughs> Andy, if you're watching this, I'm going to kick your ass. Um, so let's get back on to the competition. Let's talk about Evo. So, I have the giveaway helmets here. This one's mine, by the way, but you can order it from Team Graffiti. But you don't want it now because I just smashed it. All you guys have already subscribed. Thank you, you're in the game, you're in the competition. If you've subscribed on my YouTube channel, you are in with a chance of winning one of these two. Okay, so we have the RX-5, uh, Infinity Colors. Uh, lovely helmet, nice style. You can see this one is uh, brand new, hasn't been touched, I haven't even tried it on. Mm, still got that brand new helmet smell, which I love. Um, uh, I'm going to assign a number to all my subscribers and then I'm going to have a random number generator pick out three winners. Okay, so it's going to be completely random, so it doesn't matter if you're really nice to me or you're really horrible to me, you've got the same chance of winning. So I can't, I'm not going to influence it, I want it to be totally fair. Okay, so third prize is going to be the Evo RX5 Infinity. Beautiful helmet, half face. It's got, comes with the uh, smoked out visor. It's also got the flip down screen. Okay, so it's got the sunscreen as well. Uh, so it's a nice half face helmet, great for the cooling, of, uh, great for this weather in the heat. Uh, so that will be third place, okay? RX5 Infinity. Second place is going to be the Evo GSX 3000 Infinity in pink. This one's really popular. Um, <clears throat> and not just for girls, everyone loves it apparently. So this is going to be second place. Okay, so it's the GSX 3000 Infinity. Uh, like the uh, Vanquish that I reviewed previously, got smoke screen, comes also with a clear screen, uh, comes down with the internal sun visor as well. You've got all the venting at the front, venting on the top, venting on the sides. Um, this one was my wife's, but uh, she wants an RX5 instead. Uh, she's only tried this on, she's never used it out and about. So it's basically brand new. Uh, you can check with the internals and everything. It's two weeks old, she's tried it on once. So it's a virtually brand new GSX 3000 Infinity. So that's going to be second place, okay? First place, where's first place's prize? It's still a Team Graffiti. The reason is, is that first place you're going to get to choose uh, one of the Evo model helmets up to th the value of 3,500 pesos. So I didn't want to order that one and have it here because whoever the winner is, the first place winner, um, you're going to get to choose it. So all you have to do is when I uh, announce the winners on uh, November the 10th, whoever wins first place, simply send me a message, get in touch with me, uh, send me your details, uh, send me the choice of what helmet you want and what size, up to the value of 3,500 pesos. I'll pay for the shipping as well. Um, uh, so you're just going to let me know. The first place winner will let me know what you want, up to 3,500 pesos. Any Evo helmet up to that value, which is pretty much most of them. So you've got a great choice. You can see what Team Graffiti you've got in stock. Go and have a look on their uh, Facebook page. Um, and, uh, and then you can make your choice. Let me know and then I'll get that sent out to you. All I want you to do, guys, though, is when you win, if you can send me uh, a quick picture of yourselves with the uh, helmets so that I can post it perhaps on Facebook, um, just sort of to prove that these helmets have gone out to you and everything, uh, and get people excited for the next competition, uh, which will be uh, announced maybe November 14, something like that. Uh, we'll see. But that one's going to up the game again, so it's going to be even more. I've just ordered the prizes for. Uh, the next competition, uh, I've ordered them from Revzilla in the USA. Uh, they're already on the way. You, you, I, th I hope you're going to love them. I think they're awesome prizes. Um, yeah, and I've also got uh, some prizes coming from Team Graffiti again in Manila. Big shout out to Team Graffiti. Um, I just really appreciate their support. Um, so yeah, that's it. So now I hope you completely understand uh, how the competition's working. In third place, second place, first place you get to choose. Pretty simple. Um, and uh, yeah, next video is going to be a build of this computer I've got down here. I'll show you now. I've bought a load of parts for, uh, it's a Ryzen 7 octa-core, so eight-core um, computer uh, with a decent NVIDIA graphics card and a 
bunch of other stuff. So I'll just quickly show you that now, so you can get get an idea of what's coming. All I'm waiting for is one thing, and that's the case. Once the case comes, I'm going to do a build video for you guys. Um, I used to build computers a lot when I was younger, um, so it'll be fun to build one again. I've built one for about six years, five years, so computers have come on a pretty, pretty long way since then. I'm going to build it, I'm going to show you what parts you could swap out just to sort of make it a little bit cheaper or how you could improve it by putting in slightly more expensive parts. But the build I've done is perfect for 4K video editing and yes, we will be doing 4K video soon once I get that computer set up. Um, it gives you the best bang for buck. It's the best bang for buck 4K video editing machine that you can get at the moment. Um, I bought the parts that sort of not the most expensive, but they offer the best performance for the money. Um, so it, it'll be good to show you guys that. So from me and my friends here, uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel because there are going to be loads more giveaways and lots of videos coming up soon once I get over this sickness. Uh, thanks guys and uh, I'll see you in the next one.